Hello everyone. So today we are going to improve our snow deformation system by adding a permanent trail to the this carved part. So here you can see there is a po the po a portion of the trail that create that is created vanishes in time. See you can see it's adjusts, uh, but some part remains persistently. So this is what we are going to work on today. Keep some of the trail permanently while uh, adding out a little bit of the path. So still we haven't worked on the particles that we need to add in order to improve the realism of the effect. It's just the deformation part of the landscape. Uh, when we add the particles also this would look much better but for now I just want to focus on the landscape deformation part. Alright, let's see how to do this today. And everything related to this system is shared in this stylized rendering based on the things that we worked on this stylized rendering playlist but from now on this uh, snow deformation system will go as a separate series because it's no longer related just for stylized rendering even though I originally started this uh, distance field based uh, grass reaction uh, and this trail creating the trail part even though I started that in the stylized series now we are moving to a dedicated playlist that is focused on snow deformation or more like landscape deformation so I'll leave the links to everything in the description and also you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of things that I have done in my channel here in the patron page right so let's get into today's episode So it's not going to be a very complicated thing. This is what I'm going to do. Let me open my character and add a function. Place root step. Okay. And then I'll add a instance static mesh. ISM root step. So I'm gonna use a sphere for this but so here I'm going to add an instance on the location of the foot so here we need to know if we are placing the right footprint or left footprint so let's add an input left or right if it is true, left, false, right. So we can get the mesh. Get socket location. And then I know the foot L, foot R is the bone names, but let me show you in case you don't know. Put here, put it, put out. So I can select the name, put L or put R based on this. And then I get the location. Make sure this is world space. I'll split this. So location, we can directly connect it like this. And uh, maybe let's 
use a scale like this so we can clearly see how sphere is placed okay now let's go to the animation blueprint of this and in the default third person character animation we already have two events uh, put plant this one event notify a and flip plant left and put plant right this so in order to call this function i need a concrete reference to my character therefore instead of casting this to a character i'll change the type to third person character which then click on this Plus to bp third person character still running then it refresh oh this is game mode sorry third person character okay now it should be fine all right be connected where else I'm using the character I need to check here here okay all good just let me make sure that everything is working still yeah it is working now here I can hit the character. Let me convert this to validated gate. So, in case by mistake I use with a different character blueprint, it will not run into any errors. Footprint, place footstep. I should have called this footprint, but that's why. This is right. Okay, now let's see. We should see. I don't see. Oh, I haven't assigned a static mesh here. I want to use this same sphere. So it's just a regular sphere, nothing fancy. Okay, so they do spawn, but it's attached to the character. So they should be in, in the world space. So what we can do is, do I have a begin layer here? No. That's fine. I'll add a begin play and detach this. Detach from component. These settings doesn't matter. Nothing is visible until I add an instance. So. yeah see now every place where the character leave a footprint we have this mesh you see and okay and even if the trail is vanished that object is there now if we make this longer we will have longer and a little bit larger we will have a permanent footprint so let's randomize this scale 
let's make that i think uh, let's get at uh, and I'll use that and this I just need to find out what uh, along what axis I need to make it longer so let's make x 1 and y point 1 and I said I leave it at 1 let's see oh yeah that is correct see let's make this along by also uh, let's have some randomization so random plot in range maybe something in between one and two for x and Something in between point one and point three. Y, Z. Maybe we should make it uh, like this. Let's see. And rotation, I think we need to randomize that too. And also, you see, this appears suddenly, which is something I think I should avoid. So, reduce this. File. Here. Right, rotator rotator. I don't want to change these two, but I will change this. This plus the random number. Plot in range between minus 10 and 10. Let me try minus 20 and 20. See? I don't really see. Change. Oh, mean should be minus. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, now another thing. So the material, I'll assign a com the completely transparent material to this ISM wood step. And masked. This is something that I, we already worked on. It's just a transparent material. So we don't see those objects that we place. Now the trail that we made through the the trail that follows the character vanishes in time, but those footsteps remain in the level. See, all right.
Okay. Okay, so I did some modifications to the parameter, did some fine tuning, and this is the final look. So what I have changed is mainly I adjusted this displacement uh, offset, uh, set it to zero, and this is center is 0.5, magnitude is five, also 0.5, and tray, nothing there. Yeah, that's pretty much it so yeah this is the final look you can see if i stop you can see the tail somewhat fades away but still the footsteps there is a portion of the footstep that remains persistent so maybe in time after a long time we can remove instances of the footstep uh, but maybe that is something we should look into in future and also now that you see it's just the uh, carving part of the landscape so we should add some more particle effects so that we can see some snow clumps are moved away from the character's legs and that should improve the realism of the effect so we will look into those steps in upcoming episodes okay so thanks for watching as always, updated project files will be available for download here in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. See you in another episode. Goodbye.